I told you guys I would make an updated Great Nature deck post the new premium stuff. I am keeping my fucking end of the bargain. Here we are. What is up, guys? It is Super Chase. I'm bringing you guys a deck that I'm just so excited to show you. This is Big Belly Premium with the new goodies. Holy shit. This deck just got so much better. I have been testing with this deck heavily. It has been performing better than anticipated, to be honest. Caladrius, our new stride right here, is uh, just unbelievably good. And, you know, let's waste no more time. Let's get straight into the deck profile. Okay, so, first off, beginning Hyrax. One of my favorite starters in all of Vanguard. Feel free to run any Great Nature starter. It technically does not matter. I run four Big Belly, Famous Professor. I also run three of the Amazing Professors. And finally, for the Grade 3 line, I run three Talented Rhinos. So the Grade 3 line is pretty tight. If you guys don't know how it works, you basically always want to ride into Famous Professor. Famous Professor does everything for the deck. Everything. He works on your opponent's turn, too. You need to run this guy as a Vanguard. It's like not even up for debate. You never want to ride into this nor do you want to ride into your rhinos. You want these on rear at all time. You never want to ride into these. And on top of that, they don't even have markers. So you're really just nagging if you ride them. The only universe you ever ride into these is if you purely just need to stride, you're, you win second and you just need to ride over a grade three. I get that. Any other scenario is a no-no. Rhino is our is our spear and our sword of the deck. This is a restand Crayon Tiger 2.0. Anyways, that is our grade three line. Pretty tight. I actually love the grade three line. It's, it's, it's epic. I have no problems with it. Four Crayon Tiger, arguably one of the best cards in the deck, arguably one of the best artworks in the deck. Insanely good card, uh, just does everything for us. Needs to be boosted though, but we don't mind because our grade ones are fucking cracked. Spool Mary, another just insane card. This is our turn three right here because it's amazing because it just gives free value. It's like, like value town on a card. When it's wrote upon, you just call it over to the Axel one you just made, um, and then you use its effect. You give 10K to Big Belly. Big Belly now becomes a 20K stick. She becomes 29K. You're going to restand her for another 29K. It all of a sudden makes your mundane grade three turn pretty fucking good. Mandatory staple four of. Two Compass Lions. This is, if, if there's any flex spot in the deck, I was tempted literally right before I filmed this to throw in the Monoculus Tiger, take one of these out, keep one, throw in a Monoculus Tiger, but I actually, I already have a big grade one line. I think this is good. I'm comfortable with two compass lines. It's still an amazing card. It does everything we need to because it just is a big number and then it can retire itself, draw us off, off Big Belly. You usually want to use him just once you have Big Belly or earlier in the game if you don't have anything else to ride into. So those are our grade twos. Grade one line. This is just, we, the Great Nature easily has the most unfair grade ones out of any premium deck I've ever played. We have the grade, the, the searcher. Basically, if anything's on a circle, um, you get, it's the, the 13K's live. It's pretty good. It's always live. This is just cracked grade one. Um, honorary assistant, Mike Sparrow. Just stupid. You call it down. Basically, you can, you, you pick a unit and when it retires at the end of the turn, you can search any grade three, add it to your hand. It does everything. So fucking unfair. Another very unfair card, Label Pangolin. All you do is target your talented rhinos at the beginning of the turn and just counter blast 5-6 damage. It's just fucking hilarious. And then we run to History Scholar, Boost Besh. He gives us good numbers. He retires himself. We draw off him. It's great. It's love. That commences our normal units. Moving on to the triggers. I run four ponies, three of the strides. I run four cable sheep, goaded, draw, PG, heel guards, mandatory and an over trigger moving on starting with the extra deck we run two of the new strides caladrius just oh god this card is so fucking good if you don't know what he does he immediately just flips one everybody gets 10k you retire them all at the end of the turn great synergizes just perfectly with big belly and its main effect counter bus one stand something at 30k or greater when it swings if your opponent guards they have to guard with three or more cards dummy best first stride so oppressive could just end up game. The amount of times I won on my first Caladrius, I've almost won every single game since this deck has been on. I've almost won every single game just on the first stride with Caladrius. They just don't know what's coming for them because all of a sudden they got a talented Rhinos that's that's standing three times that they have to fork out nine cards for, and they're on turn three. They might have just exhausted stuff to make their turn three powerful. It is nuts. Mandatory two of. I just don't see the game going long enough to to have three, but uh, it's mandatory two of. Very, very, very good card. You could run more. I wouldn't suggest running less. I think two's a perfect number. Uh, Mana Garmer, Arum, great card. If you have no board, this guy is your hero. If you have no board, you just throw him down, counter blast, mill four, and see if you can just go with an eight drive check van. <laughs> this is another win con I explained in my last one pretty well. This one's just insane because in tandem with Talented Rhinos, if you use this guy, you counter blast, use its effect, flip himself, pitch him, and then basically they can only G guard because they can't guard with grade zeros, grade ones, grade twos, grade threes. So 
pretty, uh, pretty bad effect, basically. Yeah, no, it's fucking cracked. Uh, moving on, we got three Bloral. The reason I run three, he's a good flip target. He also just gets better with age. So um, if you've exhausted all of your other strides, which let me just tell you this. If you're used more than Caladrius and haven't won, you're never winning. If you've used this guy and don't win off him, you don't deserve to win. Um, but if you do have, uh, you will occasionally go into Bloral because he's free. If you've exhausted everything else, a single Soul Blast can make your board cracked. If you have like eight cards flipped up, do the math. Eight plus, you'd be plus 32K to everything on hit draws, retire at the end of the turn which are more draws, it's a really good card. It's an actually amazing card. It just happens to be overshadowed by like just the, the like just the uh, unbelievable support we've recently gotten. And anyways, closing off the end of the deck, I run one, this, this helps us not deck out basically. If you're ever decking out, this is the perfect fix. I run one Zoa, just got this in the mail. Actually got a little, what is this, a ZR? Looks very nice, looks very nice. And finally, three Bastion and a Spangled. I can't tell this enough. I said this on my, my last profile too. Bastion? Oh boy, this is, I mean, this is this is one of the best G-Guards I've ever used. It's so good. When you have like a, car, a field of three or four cards that you didn't retire them all with Caladrius, you throw one of these downs, re retire three or four of them, draw four. It can save your entire life. It can save the entire game. Bastion is a must-have G-Guard. I can't lie to you. I've been tempted to just go to four and just only run him, but I think it's nice to have. Usually this is going to get flipped, let's be real, but if it doesn't, Spangled does have some niche capabilities. Um, but yeah, Bastion is, wow, what a G-Guard. Absolutely incredible. Um, absolutely incredible. But yeah, that basically wraps up the deck. I hope you guys did enjoy. I definitely want to know what you guys think of the new stride in the comment section. I'm so curious. I personally, when I saw it, I was like, this is, this is epic. This is epic. I think a lot of the clans really got like very, very good complimentary cards that really helped the strategies, us being one of them, great nature players. Uh, just, this was, this was exactly what the deck needed, quite frankly. And it's really showing that it's, that it's flexing its muscles now that it's really a complete premium deck. And it feels like that, to be honest. Um, highly recommend this deck. One of my favorite decks ever. I feel like that's not even up for debate. My last profile was my best performing video on the channel. So fuck it. Let's run it back. Hit the like button. I kept my end of the bargain. Keep yours. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you guys want more of these videos. I would love to know. I'm, I, I'm fiending nothing more than, uh, than some, some feedback. So if you guys have any feedback, really feel free to drop it in the comments. I, I'll respond to everything. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Super Chase, I am signing out.